We are being joined by the co-secretary of Fossil Games, Media and Publicity Committee. Uh, that's committee, I beg your pardon. We've got Cosmos Chukwemeka. Thank you so much, Cosmos, for joining me on the show. Yeah, thank you very much, Chunye. Um, it's a pleasure to join you on the show. A pleasure to have week, you, but yeah. I, I, I need to reveal to people that you're also a last white, as they would say. So, great bobo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. But we, in Lasso, we say, in Lasso, we say we are Lasso, we are great. Yes, so, so we we that's Lasso, what we say. We say we are great. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, let's talk about the games right now. How did the closing ceremony right. reflect the success of the games and the contributions of um, the two host institutions. I know we did not hear anything, you know, bad about this competition, but this closing ceremony and the hosting of the game, how did it reflect the prospects of the two institutions? I think the closing ceremony was just an opportunity to showcase that um, where there is a will, mm. there'll be a way. Mm. I mean, this competition, the FASO Games, with is expectedly or essentially the Olympics for African students was pretty much um, a very good time for Lagos to show itself, Lagos to show its aquatic splendor. And uh, for the two universities, the University of Lagos and Lagos State University, to show that uh, they're pretty much uh, the biggest in, um, arguably, of course, mm. in uh, not just in Nigeria, but in uh, West Africa. Uh, I, I'm of course, I, I know you were talking about the um, Nigerian national cricket team that just qualified for the World Championship mm -hmm. earlier. And uh, of course, we we're talking about the fact that women, these are women that are doing this. Yes, I must tell you that this is the first time that we would have a vice chancellor that is a woman. Mm. Putting this. Now, it is not just one vice chancellor. We're talking about two vice chancellors that are women, that are good friends. I'm talking about uh, Professor Ogushola of the University of Lagos mm -hmm. and Professor Ibiemi Ibilola Olatuji Bello of the Lagos State University. They co-hosted this. And um, even the FASU um, delegates were saying that this is by far the best thus far uh, competition for FASU games uh, since the uh, FASU games started out in the 70s. You understand? So it, it makes sense. Like, you know, the FASO Games started out on the bank. In fact, they had their first meeting in Nigeria, mm. uh, in Lagos 73, for the All-African Games. So it was at the side of the All-African Games that they had a meeting that, you know what, let's do a university games. And then the next game uh, was done in the University of Ghana, Lagos. Mm. So that they, and since then, it has been male um, vice chancellors that has been in charge of this. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time that we're going to have two female vice chancellors that we are co host It is also the first time we are going to have two universities in the same city mm -hmm. co-hosting the Africa University game. It's huge. There are a lot of, um, there are a lot of great advertisements for African sports, if you ask me um, about this. It was wonderful. It was an opportunity for Lagos State University to work on you know get new facilities mm. it was also an opportunity for the university of lagos seeing that they hosted Nuga successfully two mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. so also that okay yes we still have the facilities and the facilities are in top gear and they had to repair some other facilities if you remember at Nuga 2022 you uh the swimming uh the swimming event could not hold in the university of lagos it was held at the Teslim Balogun Stadium, yes, right? The swimming corner. But this time around, mm. but this time around, the swimming event was held in the University of Lagos, and trust me, it was fantastic okay. to see. At the Lagos State, at the Lagos State University, of course, we had new handball court. The president of the Handball Federation of Nigeria was in there, mm. and he said he has never seen an outdoor court that good mm. before. Mm. Uh, you have the basketball to officials of the Nigerian Basketball Federation. Uh, uh, the MBBA, we are there as well. We understand, and the okay. praise Lagos State University basketball as well. And of course, the indoor games too. So, pretty much many of the indoor games were held at the Lagos State University, at the Resource Center of Lagos State University. We're talking about world class Lagos State University. We're talking about the combat uh, games, and, uh, the combat games, apart from boxing, mm. uh, you need to see some of the world class maps that Lagos State University actually invested into Okay, this. Cosmos. So, trust me, if you see me... Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry to, to bot in right now. Stuff.
time not our friend. I, right, I, I know. Okay. I did to talk okay. about um, Professor Ogunshola. Did say it's an opportunity to revamp all the sporting facilities in the institutions. And what you're saying right now really, really um, supports that. But let's quickly talk about um, the medal standing. Um, Egypt came again okay. to scoop this one, this title for the eleventh edition. But um, for the participating universities at the games, who exceeded expectations and who? Believe that below par. Uh, I, 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 I know University of Lagos, they've always uh, been investing, they've got that um, sporting center where they've invested so much in sport. But uh, was it a big surprise to see Lagos State University surpass them here? Uh, which of these teams here came with the biggest surprise and which of them performed below par? Okay, so I, I would say that um, if you ask me, I will say that, of course, Lagos State University surpassed their expectation. Mm. That's why the fact that, um, of course, the top was we are hosting to win. But then when you have um, guys from the American University of Cairo, Egypt, uh, who narrowly won these games two years ago at yes. Kenyatta University over yeah. the host at the time, of course, you would say that you need to be very careful. Mm -hmm. But this time around, because it came with just 12 contingent. It was believed that, all right, fine, that um, Lasso and Yudilak could have a chance. And honestly speaking, Lasso and Yudilak went all through. Were the 12 uh, contingents, I beg your pardon, were the 12 contingents uh, yeah. reduced number away from uh, the last two years' contingent from the American University of Cairo? Yes, yes, it's a reduced number. It's, okay. it's actually a reduced number. Okay. A very, very reduced number. So you would have thought that, okay, maybe, but somehow, how they did it, I do not understand. Mm. Uh, for for but you're looking at two Nigerian universities in the top three. This is the first time mm. that we we'll have two Nigerian universities in the top three of the Africa um, of the Africa University Games. Mm. But then, if you're talking about a team, a team that um, surpassed uh, the expectation, that mm. would be the University for Development um, Tamale Ghana. Now. This is a team that um, came and defeated the University of Lagos in the finals of the football event. Now, football is a big deal. In mm. November, the winner uh, would represent Africa at the FIFA so as a Federation of International uh, University Sports mm. uh, Competition in Germany. You understand? Okay. And the teams wanted to ensure that they got it, and the university of um, development Ghana, despite the fact that they were a man down in the semi-finals. Mm. And of course, they got to the finals and defeated the University of Lagos at home. But there were controversies around teams. that game. There were controversies around the refereeing decisions from that game. What do you say about that? Okay, so I, 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 I would not want to be drawn as to whether there was a referee decision against Unilad mm. or not. But then... But then, it's, I mean, you, you li listen to this. This is the sports center of the University of Lagos. And, uh, of course, um, officiating was better for the FASU game. Okay. That's because um, at the Lagos State University, there was the use of the video assistant referee. Yes, I said it. Wow. VAR no. was used at the Lagos State University. But it was not used at the University of Lagos. So maybe there might be, but I watched the game. I mean, I watched the game yesterday. Mm. And, of course, it was pretty much okay. It was pretty much spot on. If you ask me performance of the referee, I would say 80%. I'm not saying there will be a little, little mistake or so. But, I mean, basically, when you have um, a combined sport like this, I mean, things like that might happen. But what I'm trying to say that the but should of that happen on a final that. day? It's a decider. Do you think that should be allowed <laughs> on a final day, the finals of the football event? Now, now, the, now the question is that at what point were there issues in the game? At mm -hmm. what point were there issues in the game? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. We we're not having issues because the truth is that uh, maybe. Of course, I'm a sports journalist. Mm. And before I got into administration, of course, I would say, yeah, these, that. But I've gotten into administration and I understand the kind of um, pressure that these people have. Mm. The truth was that it is actually the referees were Nigerians. The University of Lagos, the Lagos State University, is a Nigerian team, mm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
So that is just it, basically. Now, yes, there might be some issues, but that will not take the shine off the fact that the first game 2024 was a very, very successful Okay, okay, year. okay. Football All event right. had less controversy. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I wish we could go on and on concerning this because I really love to represent my alma mater. Tell them, tell the world. Yeah, we are telling you. We are great. I'm telling you, we are great indeed. So it's great to also talk to a, 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 a last word here. I was wishing to bring in someone Thank from Unilag, much. but it's all good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cosmos. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure I can get somebody from you. I can get somebody from you. <laughs> I'm from sure you. we'll continue this conversation. Good. I need this bragging rights. I need it so much. Got a chip okay. on my shoulder. Thank you for this conversation on the show. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>